Alright guys and girls, welcome back to my Slim Fast Dieting Program on my Slim Fast video channel here. Uh, I do a lot of like gaming as well and all that in between and doing episode reviews and uh, comic book, um, figuring book reviews as well. So definitely check that out. Uh, so for today's Slim Fast Dieting Plan, this is my dinner episode. This is for day 767 days. I'm hoping to get it all the way up to a thousand or just at over a thousand days of doing this. So yeah, definitely quite a bit of work to do yet. Um, so this is day 767. Video log 1540, no, what am I saying? 43, 40, 44. Yeah, so 1,544 episodes. So 1,544 episodes into my Slim Fast Dieting Plan. And if I just get all this out. Right. Back in a minute. Two seconds, guys and girls. Right, guys and girls, I'm back. So I've just put that on for about four minutes or two minutes and 30 in to go left. Uh, just put my mum's jack potato beans and all that in there and vegetables just to warm all that up. And sort everything else out. Put that there for a minute. Right. Oh. So this is my dinner episode for Thursday the 8th of February. It's 5.53 so it's just coming up to 6. But anywhere between 6, 6.30 should be fine for foods, for carbs and all that. As long as you can sort of keep it in between that, you should be alright. It depends, actually it depends uh, when you like eat the food and how long you keep the food off for so many hours. I said, roughly say around about 8 for 6 and then the other like sort of 18 hours in between should be fine. So yeah. Like you, uh, you don't eat in between 18 hours. Eat in between the 6 hours per day and then the other 18 not. So you're eating between that. So it could be any time. So you can have like snacks within those sort of 6 hours. As long as you're not eating for the rest of those 18 hours. Uh, that's what my sort of routine for it. But and uh, different people have different sort of routines. Uh, losing weight. I actually, I'm starting to lose a lot more around this like stomach area, which is a good thing. Then is my hips are actually fucking huge. They're actually huge around here. So and with hips, uh, you can't really actually shrink your hips down because they're bone. So you can't really shrink bone down. Shame, really. Yeah, it's a shame that like uh, you can't. But uh, well, doesn't matter. So I have to try and routine that out a little bit. Try and shape it as best way as I can. Alright, so I've got three seconds. Here we go. Should be alright. There we go. Right. So that sorts that out. Yeah, let us know in the comments, guys and girls, what your best routine is. If you've got a routine at all, if you've got a, a way of losing weight yourself, let us know in the comments below. Alright, so there's my Burr's Pizza. Don't know what for dinner. You can have whatever you want and all that to go with it and that. Um, so that's my mum. She's having a jack of potato. Got the potato here. Got the baked beans. And then I gave her some of the vegetables as well. And this is mine with my curry sauce, got my uh, garlic on there, brown rice with peas. Then I've got my vegetables in there, my carrots and all that kind of stuff. 
and yeah my cod should play as well so it's all good anyway guys and girls i've actually noticed as well because what i've done at the moment i'm doing a different um sort of a thing here at the moment where my vegetable plants that i'm actually growing which i've got in the, in the moment i've put some outside at the moment as well well for now for a few days because i want the plants to get used to the cold weather and wait till it gets warm as well so that way can have a different uh, sort of conditions the plants can get underneath so i've just left a couple out there and if they don't work there with the um the plants and end up dying over the next few days i've got some backup plants already um going for my vegetables my carrots uh, my peas and all that and brussels sprouts as well got some brussels sprouts in there but what i've done i've got these containers and stuff the ones i bought these like sort of wooden sort of trellis and i've put four plants in there and one in the middle as well like a tomato plant so the tomato plant will go up and then around the edges i've just put some other vegetables around there so it's like a sort of a mini sort of vegetable garden so good little thing that way but if they work outside and they come and they're like they do a lot of um vegetables become good with their surroundings and the conditions and the weather then that should be all right but i put some organic sort of compost in there so that makes it gives it new uh, nutrients to make it a lot better anyway guys and girls cheers all for watching stay safe and catch you all later